Hi, friends, YouTubers, vinyl junkies. I want to talk a little bit about one of my favorite genres or favorite areas of sound, which is sound, which includes noise, drone, ambient, industrial, whatever, avant-garde, music, concrete, Dadaism. Um, someone asked me to talk a little bit about this, and uh, I said I'd prepare an introduction. And the best I can do today is to say that, you know, some of the early people that we know who uh, did things um, notably with sound uh, experimentation goes back to the turn of last century, music on Crate and Dadaism. Um, pioneers like Pierre Henri, um, Karl Heinz Stockhausen, uh, people like John Cage, um, Lamont Young, Terry Riley, these are names that come to mind right away. There are folks out there that are experts on this who can really list you a name of some other folks. But those are people that come to mind right away when we talk about the roots. And I want to talk about the roots because I think there's a, in my mind, there's a direct connection between that and the current drone all the way up to Sun. You know, like Sun O, but it's actually Sun. And some of the things that people like Boris do. And the ambient stuff that Eno has done. And uh, even getting into some of the psychedelic things like um, Bardo Pond and um, and Animal Collective, I see in my mind, through my experience, I see um, a, a direct connection through all of this, and I'm forgetting many names, so I couldn't, I don't have the time to go through my collection and definitively get a big, big stack of uh, stuff that I put in this category, but I want to show some things and I'll talk a little bit about them, okay? I'm going to start with the man, David Tudor. This is a piece of it, piece of it is called Rainforest 4, which was actually an installation. David Tudor was a classical pianist who uh, also did um, avant-garde and worked, worked uh, I understand, quite a bit with John Cage. And John Cage wrote specifically for David Tudor. But what we have here um, is the sound of the uh, installation being experienced by people. And there's all sorts of contraptions that, as you see the man with his head in the barrel here, everything is producing sound and all the movement in the room is interacting with the sound sculptures. And so literally the room and all activity in it is the piece. And um, this is fascinating fascinating piece of work. Frank W. Fromey, Quattro Mutant, Quattro Ach, Ach Mutant, uh, Bad French, Four something mutants, some kind of force, kind of mutants. Anyway, this um, Fromey was in a band called Shub Nagurath. I believe they're out of Belgium, dark, progressive, um, similar to New Trolls, um, Magma, a little bit. This is, is really a very interesting album in that it embraces uh, complex, progressive um, compositions into wailing siren-like female vo vocals, into some of the coolest breakdowns into noise that I've heard. I think he's using the guitar and the percussion instruments to achieve this. This album is a one to seek out, and I do believe that you can download it online. Um, I pulled my Dome albums because these are just great, and I, I think we know about the band Wire. Well, the guys from Wire and right away spun off and did a bunch of cool, cool, cool stuff. Gilbert and Lewis from the band, the guitarist and bass player, started a band called Dome, and they put out a series of albums. I think I have three or four of them. I'm going to show what I have here. And this is sound work. It's not songwriting. Well, there are some songs, but mostly what it is is seemingly very, very abstract sound experimentation. But I don't think these are experiments. I think these are experiences that they recorded. And this is some of the most excellent noise work that I, I, I've heard. I highly recommend 
If you're interested in noise, dark ambient, industrial, drone, find these dome albums by the members of Wire, B.C. Gilbert, and, and Lewis. Mm. These came out on Rough Trade. An excellent, excellent label, which... I, did I hear rumor that it's being reactivated? But these are good examples. Here, this one here. Will you speak this word? This is killer. I mean, this is like... Like... Uh, I'm kind of losing words for it. It's on the Uniton label out of Norway. This is super dope. Probably the best of the Dome records, in my opinion. This is... Um, beautiful. It's beautiful sound. And there's music in there. I want to include this band... Some may say, well, wait, Borbet Borbeto Magus in, uh, belongs in free jazz. Well, yeah, they do, but they also, um, in my mind, belong in noise as well. These guys whip up quite a noise, quite a sound with two saxophones and guitar, sometimes electronics, but it's primarily uh, uh, Jim Souter and Don Dietrich on saxes, and they come up with some amazing sounds that will either send you into heights of pleasure or will make you want to scrape yourself off the ceiling. From Italy was uh, Musica Electronica Viva. This is Leave the City on Actual. As you know, I just love this label and this is an original, not a reissue. And um, this was a, a, a this was a group of musicians that included some folks. Oh, this is such a cool cover, even the inside. And it started in the '60s, and they were um, some of the earliest um, experimenters in using synthesizers to alter alter the voice, way before vocoders and stuff. And Richard Teitelbaum, who has gone on to work with Anthony Braxton and, and, and among others, was involved in this, this um, unit. I don't even want to call it a band. If you're interested in drone noise, I'm trying to show you what I consider. There's a lot more than what I'm showing today, but this is definitely will not disappoint you. Another one by Musica Electronica Viva, The Sound Pool. This one is reissued, I think, by Get Back. Yeah, you... you you can find this one a little easier and then again maybe not actually what I'm discovering or what I continue to find out is that you look hard enough you can find any of these records but this is some dynamic dynamic interaction with sound waves that's how I'll, I'll describe this dynamic interaction with sound waves I don't even think it matters what they're playing. So while I was pulling those out, this popped out too. And I said, oh yeah, this definitely um, is included. And this is a very early ECM re re uh, release. This is ECM number five. This is the Music Improvisation Company. These are absolute giants of this field. Derek Bailey, may you rest in peace. Jamie Muir, who was in King Crimson, Lark's Tongues and Aspect Period. Evan Parker on sax, still alive. Christine Jeffrey and Hugh Davies, I can tell you le less about them. This is improvised music using instruments and electronics, at times bordering on jazz, mostly in a world of its own. And one that I... Precursors to Super Silent. I've been talking about Super Silent again. This is some really, really intense and beautiful interplay where people are obviously listening and connecting on a level where the music becomes so, an entity of its own and a world for you to enter. Along with the Music Improvisation Company from England back in the 60s um, was AMM, which... Ah, what does it stand for? Is it on here? My glasses. Are they here? Is it on here? Um, some of the folks who were in AM also 
um, crossed and did things with music improvisation company Keith Rowe, uh, Eddie Provost, Prevost rather. And this is excellent. Am number three. A M M three. Um, working with um, percussion, guitar, pretty much that. It, it would be surprising to you what this sounds like. Definitely doesn't sound like guitar and drums. This is awesome. A M M three. Carolyn K only put out one album. Sadly, she's deceased now, passed away in just 2008. She was uh, involved with a electronic group called Nocturnal Emissions. But she put this one solo album out called Now Wait for Last Year, and this is an, a dark ambient classic. Uh, overused, I mean it. When I say it, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say this is really well realized, really, really good. Only thing she made. This is really, really, really good. Really good. Dark ambient. Um, if you like Nurse with Loon, Current 93. Uh, this is beautiful. Um, the one, one piece is just a whole side. And once again, you can find, you can hear this, like you can hear almost everything online, either through YouTube or going, just searching blogs, people's blogs. This is wonderful. And another electronic artist who experiments in noise and sound manipulation on a very deep level that I love is Asmus Tichens. I think that's how you say it, or is it Tichens? Uh, from Germany. Here's an album that he made with a fellow named Terry Burroughs watching the burning bride and this goes all over the place when it comes to sound starting out with a really quiet little ticky kind of morse code almost type of compositions into just um like spreading a sandwich with mayonnaise or butter just sound just being you know what i'm saying and and the texture the texture of the sound and surfaces sounds and surfaces and texture those words come right to mind right away in trying to describe the work of asmus Tichens, as well as some other um noise artists who i didn't grab mecbio blue mb and maurizio bianchi come to mind right away i didn't grab any of the records here's another asmus Tichen record licia licia this one is a little more synthesizer based but i grabbed it since these are the only two vinyls i have by mr Tichens. Once again, highly recommend this man is a master, along with Conrad Schnitzler, originally of uh, Cluster and uh, Kraftwerk. These cats know how to whip up some noise. Last thing I'll show is a kind of a obscure album on the United Dairies label. It's not Nurse with Wound, though. It's Mastishadu, and the album is called Shekina. Uh, this was a one-off project by two guys from two other completely obscure bands. No electronics involved here. Bowed cymbals, percussion, chants, moaning. Um, this could creep some people out. But what I'd say is it's more like um, being invited to um, participate in some sort of interesting ritual who knows what it's about uh i don't think of it as that it would be evil but it's it's intriguing it's like primitive that's the word i'll use it's like this is this is uh primal and these are just some of the uh many i have many noise drone ambient psychedelic freakout records uh, back here that's what i'm looking for mainly is progressive rock and far out music and far out sound it's my favorite thing to do is to leave this planet through the through the uh, <laughs> audio orifices it's it's a wonderful thing it's uh, made life so much sweeter and i'm going to stop there as you know i love comments and i try to respond to all of them bless you all